for taking whatever you told me. I know what I could be. Making the most painful answer. Tell me, is this what you made me? Hello everyone, so I thought I'd save all the talking for the end of the video uh, I thought I'd just make the video you know, quick to the point Show you the part that you probably actually want to see Which is obviously me on stage And then I'll talk at the end So anyway, the result Top 10 in the UK So that for me is absolutely phenomenal um, Obviously I didn't expect to be going to the British finals and I kind of thought I'll just go today to see what it's all about, you know, um, practice more of the posing, just get used to the whole side of competing. But to get second call outs and come top 10, which basically means second call outs is between 6th and 10th. I don't know the exact place in that I got because the division that I competed with PCA, they don't release like a score chart or anything like that. But I haven't seen the footage yet, so I'll be able to tell by where I was placed in the footage roughly where I would have placed in a number um, so obviously I would have been between 6 and 10 which is still amazing considering so obviously as you can tell I'm currently at home I've had a chance to get myself changed get myself freshened up so the tan isn't as dark anymore it's quite a nice healthy glow <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna head into Liverpool um, get some nice food go to the cinema, we just enjoy ourselves basically because I've been on prep now for the past 
roughly 20 to 23 weeks. So all that time of strict dieting, it's now time to just enjoy myself, you know, take my girlfriend out, go and enjoy ourselves, go and eat some big food, do all the things that I've been wanting to do for the past, you know, six months or so. Um, got a big night out planned soon as well. Obviously, I haven't touched a drop of alcohol since the start of this prep, so that'll be good to have a little bit of a blowout. But yeah, so basically guys, my plan now is to start the off season. So another reason why I wanted to do the British finals is so I could see the standard that they were looking for. And I know now what I need to improve on. So all I'm gonna do now is have a few days off the gym now, just relax, let my body recover, because I've done now four shows this year and it's quite hard on your body. So just give my body time to relax, recoup, recover, and then get back on it for the off season. So next year, I'm not got a solid plan yet, but next year I probably will compete and I'm just aiming to improve on those weak points, generally just increase overall size and then see how I fare next year, see if the improvements have paid off. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been following along my videos. Uh, it's been amazing, the support. I never expected to have the support that I've got. Um, it's people that you wouldn't really expect, you know, in the comments and things like that and people watching the video sending me messages saying that they have learned something new or have inspired them to even start going to the gym. So I never expected that in a million years. So I want to just say thank you to everyone who's behind the camera um, just for, you know, supporting me and watching my videos. But anyway, thank you very much guys for watching the video once again. Um, this is only going to be this one video for the British finals because I didn't want to drag it out over multiple videos. But uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Lover, what's holding you down? I ain't like